Hey everyone, welcome back to Christina in Color. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're gonna to talk about tretinoin or tret and how to add tretinoin to your skincare routine. Maybe you're thinking of adding tret to your skincare routine because you wanna fight acne or you wanna prevent aging and you're not too sure where to start, how to start, and you're overwhelmed with all the YouTube videos. So today I'm going to share five tips to help you start your tretinoin journey because it's absolutely a journey, but it's totally worth it. Now I'm not a dermatologist or a skincare professional. So what I'm sharing is based on my personal experience and what worked for me, but I hope this will be helpful for you as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Tip number one is to start low. So there are different concentrations of tretinoin, starting with the lowest at 0.025%, then 0.05%, and the highest strength is 0.1%. Now you also have different textures or formulas of tretinoin. You have cream, gel, or liquid solutions. If you're just starting off your tretinoin journey, my recommendation would be to start with the lowest concentration, which is 0.025%. I also recommend the cream over the gel or the liquid solution for a few different reasons. Number one, the cream is more emollient, so it can help reduce some of the irritation. Number two, the cream is more easily spreadable across your face so less chances of having to rub and then three it's easier to dose so you're not going to overuse too much product which can lead to irritation so if you're just starting off your tretinoin journey you want to start low and i recommend 0.025 percent with the cream formula tip number two is to start slow you want to start slow with the tretinoin in terms of frequency so my recommendation is to start with once a week. So let's say you apply tretinoin every Sunday evening. You do that for a couple of weeks. Then you can increase to twice a week. For example, Sunday evenings and Thursday evenings. You do that for a couple more weeks and then you increase to three times a week all the way up to seven times a week, which is the goal. Once you reach seven times a week, you get to decide what you want to do next. You can stay at the same concentration at seven times a week forever or you may want to increase the concentration and go to another level. So for example, if you were using 0.025% and you worked your way up to seven times a week, then you may want to bump it up and go to 0.05%. Now, every time you bump up, you increase the strength, you will want to reduce the frequency. So here's my pro tip. If you increase in concentration, you want to decrease in frequency. So for example, if you had been using the 0.025% and you worked your way up to seven times a week, and you want to increase to 0.05%, you'll want to decrease your frequency and start at the basics with once a week and then gradually work your way up to seven times a week. That is the best way to ease your way into using tretinoin without getting some of the side effects like irritation, dryness, and redness, which may prevent you from using tretinoin. And that is not the point because you want to be as consistent as possible with tretinoin to get the best results. Tip number three is to start easy. Now you want to ease your way into tretinoin. And one of the best ways to ease your way into tretinoin is by buffering. So ideally you want to use tretinoin directly onto your skin, but that can be pretty irritating for many people that are just starting off their tretinoin journey. So one of the things you can do to reduce irritation is to buffer. Buffering means applying a layer of moisturizer onto your skin and before you apply the tretinoin. That way it will create a protective barrier and it will help reduce the irritation from the tretinoin. So if you're just starting off using tretinoin, you can start by buffering for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, until your skin becomes resilient and strong enough to handle the tretinoin directly onto your skin. Now, one pro tip is if you are applying tretinoin all over your skin, all over your face, you also want to make sure that you protect the eye area and the corners of the mouth where the skin is thinner and more delicate. So what I would recommend is that you use some sort of richer cream or an inclusive, something like castor oil or Vaseline that you can apply all around your eyes as well as around your mouth to protect your skin because if the tret migrates, it will irritate. So you wanna make sure there's some sort of protective barrier around those areas to not create more irritation. So what I like to do is I like to use patient castor oil around my eyes and I just dabble and that creates kind of the protective barrier. And I use plain old Vaseline on my lips and the corner of my lips as well to make sure that I can protect it. Number four is to start small. So that was one of the biggest mistakes that I did when I started using tretinoin. I was using way too much product. With retinoin, you want to use a pea-sized amount, nothing more. Pea size will be more than enough to cover your entire face. So our face basically has four quadrants. You have the forehead, you have the cheeks, you have the chin, 
what I recommend is you use a pea size, and I like to use the method which is the finger spread, which is a method that my dermatologist taught me. So basically you put a little bit of product onto the tip of your finger, and then you spread it all the way down the length of your finger. But that finger spread, that one finger spread, will be enough for one quadrant of your face. So one finger spread for your forehead, one finger spread for each of your cheeks, and then one finger spread for your chin. If you're starting off tretinoin, I recommend that you avoid the neck area because the neck has more delicate skin and you don't want to irritate with the product because tretinoin is very potent. If you have any leftover tretinoin, you can just apply it to the back of your hands so you can reap the anti-aging benefits on your hands. And that's it. That is enough. Tip number five is to start wearing sunscreen. If you're not already wearing sunscreen, you definitely want to start once you add tretinoin to your skincare routine. And that's because tretinoin can make your skin more sensitive to the sun, it can burn more easily, and that can create a whole lot of discomfort, which we don't want. So my three sunscreen recommendations that are dark skin tone friendly are number one, Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 40. It is a chemical sunscreen. It's absolutely amazing. The reason I like it so much is because it is completely invisible. So for darker skin tone, it's great. There is no white cast. There is no residue or whiteness. It's fantastic. It just melts into the skin and you can apply it and then go on and do your makeup routine afterwards. So I absolutely love Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen. Another excellent recommendation is La Roche Posay Antilios XL SPF 50 Melting Cream, another great sunscreen with the Mexeril technology, very popular with dermatologists like Dr. Dre on YouTube, pharmacists and skincare advisors, wonderful product, strong Mexeril technology, and also a more affordable option that you can find virtually everywhere. Now, if you'd rather not use a chemical sunscreen, one of my favorite, if not my all-time favorite, mineral sunscreen is Ava Isa Sun E Serum Drops. 25% zinc oxide, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum, SPF 35. It's absolutely amazing and dark skin friendly. What I love about this product is that it comes with a dropper so you can measure the right amount of product to add to your face. So you can just put a little bit of product, drop it, and then you can apply it all over your face. What I love about this product is that even though it's a mineral sunscreen, a physical sunscreen, the zinc oxide is very fine and it doesn't leave any white cast or residue. So it just melts into the skin. It's quite nice and it is a physical sunscreen. So that's it guys. Those were my five tips. I hope you found them useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And I'm actually thinking of doing more videos around tretinoin and my favorite products. So if you'd like to see that, please leave a comment, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.